Welcome back to Miss Ewing TV. Today I'm going to read you Steal Back the Mona Lisa by Megan McCarthy. While Jack is asleep in his room, outside his room, and all the way across the sea in France, a few crooked crooks are stealing the Mona Lisa. Wake up, Jack, wake up, steal back the Mona Lisa. Jack was asleep, but something wakes him up. Jack has a mission, but what is it? Quick, Jack, get dressed. Instead of his clothes, Jack finds nothing but brown suits and brown hats. He puts on his special agent watch that does a very special thing. Jack struggles out the window. Quick, Jack, use the laser light. A car is waiting for him outside, a very fast car. I can't drive, says Jack. I'm too little. Yes, you can. And they speed away. But where is Jack going? To France, of course. Jack's mission is to fly across the ocean, steal back the Mona Lisa from the Crooked Crooks, return the famous painting to its home, the Louvre. Meanwhile, the Crooked Crooks are designing plans to ruin the Mona Lisa. Can Jack come to the rescue in time? Perhaps not. Jack is being followed. Will they stop him from saving the Mona Lisa? No, Jack releases slippery oil. Hours later, Jack makes it to a plane, but it's not an ordinary plane. It's his own private jet with his own private pilot. Jack begins his 3,628 mile flight across the ocean and into France. But is it really France? No, quick Jack, pull the insta-blimp insta cord without wasting a moment. Jack's jacket inflates. He safely floats to the ground and lands in Russia. Jack must find the Mona Lisa, but first he must get his strength back. Ah, this drink is good, Jack says to himself. But is it good? No, the juice is poisoned. Jack gets kidnapped and delivered in a truck to a dark, sinister warehouse. There, he is made to wear the most foolish of mustaches, eat vegetables, and watch videos of chickens dancing over and over again. And it gets worse. He is brought to a very fast boat in an ocean filled with creatures that look a lot like sharks. Is the Mona Lisa doomed? It sure seems so. And so is Jack. With the crooks gone, Jack has to escape. Jack pulls the insta-blimp cord, but that doesn't work. He tries the laser light, but it only burns a hole in his hat. He presses the oily hat button, but that only makes him greasy. What can Jack do? Quick, Jack, use the special agent watch, and not a moment too soon. Not so fast, shouts Jack. Then, Jack secretly travels to France and makes his way to the Louvre with something very strange under his jacket. What could it be? Mission accomplished. Using secret methods too treacherous to mention, Jack arrives back home safe and sound in his bed, and he got away without a mark. Or did he? So one of my favorite things about this story is it's based on a true, true events that happened. So in 1911, someone actually stole the Mona Lisa off of the wall in the Louvre Museum. And... It was someone who dressed up like a security guard. He hid in the closet overnight, and then when everybody left, he took the Mona Lisa right off the wall, and it was gone for two whole years before they found it. So that makes the story even more interesting because it was based on a true story. I hope you enjoyed it.